Hi, Jim Carson here from Bad Dog Mods in Orangeville, Ontario. And here we are again, this time with the 2021 Ford Bronco. Happens to be a Wild Tracks edition, and we're going to cover the most critical areas to protect your Bronco with paint protection film. As you probably know by now, we are a certified 3M center. We're going to feature 3M's Pro Series self-healing film, along with our certified installer, Shane Legere. Now the one thing with the new Bronco is, there's many different trim levels, different grills, different fender flares, and customers are going to use them in different ways. But we're going to cover for you the most critical and important parts to keep your Bronco looking new. So check it out. Hi, Jim Carson here from Bad Dog Mods in Orangeville with our certified 3M installer, Shane Legere and the 21 Bronco. This happens to be a Wild Tracks. We're gonna go over some of the most important parts to cover and we'd start with Shane. Uh, where do you wanna start? Uh, I say we start with the hood. Okay, and uh, what, what should people know about this hood and why it's important to get it done? Um, well, the hood on this Bronco is pretty blunt. It's flat, it, I mean, right at the front of the vehicle, right? So you're obviously gonna wanna protect this whole area because stone chips are always just going to hit the front lip of your of your hood so I would say do at least an 18 inch kit to start with okay you can also do a 24 inch kit or you can go right up to a full hood if you wanted to but I would definitely say protect the first 18 inches of your of your hood and I want to so doing an 18 or 24 inch a partial hood is you know, saves money um, what is the difference between a straight cut and a bikini cut? Why have what are the two differences? Um, the bikini cut is just it's just harder to see the line because you have that curve in the kit. I think the straight cut was just back when they used to install in bulk, so people are just kind of used to seeing that, that straight line. So they just give you some options in the in the computer before so. they had this really expensive plotter and computer cutting. Yeah, Got exactly. It. So I get from your eyes, it just that curve, that slight curve up on the top here. It's just harder to follow that line. Perfect, makes sense. Yeah. All right, well, let's uh, check it out and let's see the install on this uh, 21 Sasquatch. Thanks, right. Shane. No worries. Yeah. Okay, on our series of protecting your Bronco with paint protection film here with the Wild Tracks. The grill is unique to the Wild Tracks and there's many different grills. And Shane, uh, first off, uh, let's before we start with the complications, why do we want to protect this grill? It, it's not painted, it seems to be gloss black. Yeah, well not only is it right at the front of the vehicle where the stone chips are going to come up lower to the ground, um, when cleaning this, it's so easy to scratch. Just take a microfiber over it and you're probably going to get some scratches in this. So I would definitely put some paint protection film on it because it's got that self-healing property. So even if you do put fine scratches in it, uh, it'll go away with some heat. Yeah, perfect. Well, this gloss black plastic material, we've seen it for years on the B pillars between the front and rear doors on pickup trucks, on mm -hmm. various different models. And it, it, in the sun, it looks terrible. It just gets those yeah. swirl max. And they're so easy to put them in there. You don't even realize you're doing it. Just like you said, wiping dust. So. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I, that's a great point. Not all of them are this gloss black, depending on the model, right? Mm -hmm. But I noticed here on all of these holes here, well, first off, this is going to have to get removed, right? Yep. No, okay, no problem. Eight bolts. The license plate cover is going to have to, or holder is going to have to get removed. But how are you going to deal with this, with all of these cutouts here? you got to get airflow to the rad. Yeah, well, luckily we have a plotter for that. So <laughs> I, I'm just going to put in the make and model in the in the plotter and it's gonna cut out all these holes for me and then I just gotta line it up and uh, squeegee all the water out. Yeah, doing this by hand. Oh yeah, it would be, it'd definitely be a nightmare trying to do that and by hand. And a large build. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna take yeah. some time for sure. It's still gonna be a it's lot It's gonna of be work. hard enough doing it with, with yeah. the cutouts. But. Yeah, okay. Well, it's a flat grill as you said and it's uh, prone to stone chips and, and just wiping these gloss black pieces. If you wanna keep your Bronco looking like new, 
as uh, Shane said, the self-healing film properties of the 3M Pro Series uh, where those fine, fine scratches from just brushing up against it with dust on there with your coat, they're going to disappear with just heat. So uh, great tip. Thank you for that, Shane. And uh, we'll go on and cover our next section that we feel is critical to protect on your 21 Bronco. So here with the 21 Ford Bronco, we're talking paint protection, film protection. And Shane, you have the next area that you would like to highlight that you recommend getting done. What's that? Um, I would definitely recommend getting the headlights done. Like the grill, it's right at the front of the vehicle, so you're going to be getting a lot of stone chips coming up. Uh, sorry, a lot of stones coming up to, to hit the, the lights. And uh, over time, it's just going to fade if you're getting all those stone chips in there. So I would definitely recommend doing doing your headlights. It's like a sandblasting effect, and then they go yellow. Yeah, yeah, and it's I would it's cheaper to just put film on it than it is to replace the lights. So. Oh gosh, yeah, it must be really one of the most inexpensive parts to do, I would think. Yeah, definitely. The skill to put it on is, is pretty easy because it's quite flat, right? Yeah, for the for these ones specifically, it's uh, it's a flat piece to do, so not not too difficult. And if somebody's coming into your shop and you're already doing, let's say, a hood and fender kit. You're already washing the vehicle, prepping the vehicle. Mm -hmm. So it is not much more just to go ahead and cover those. Yeah, I mean, this the whole front end gets washed anyway, so you might as well just throw those pieces on as well for 80 bucks or whatever it is, and okay. you're safe for a while. Well, let's, uh, let's watch you install them nice and easy. <laughs> Sounds good. Thanks, Shane. We're talking Bronco, the new Ford Bronco, and we're talking paint protection film to protect your new Ford Bronco. This uh, particular model uh, happens to be a Wild Tracks, and it has the accessory roof rack on there, so, and you're standing on a stool, so I'm guessing you want to talk about the roof? Yeah, um, I definitely think a good area to cover on this Bronco would be your A-pillars, and right across the roof there. Um, you do get a lot of stones that come up, roll up this windshield, and hit the front lip of your of your roof, even your A-pillar here. Um, once this roof rack is off, so you're gonna have a gloss black piece right there, which would be good to cover, because like we said earlier, those, those scratch pretty easily. Um, and also when taking off uh, the roof on these things, sometimes people accidentally scratch their paint, right? So right. you would... Uh, right, you they would, have those big pins that stick down. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you definitely benefit for having some film there. Excellent. Well, those were all great points and reasons why you should protect that. So yep. thanks, Shane. Let's, uh, let's have a look at you installing it. Awesome. All right, back with the 21 Bronco, if you can't tell by this angle, but we're down here low for a really important piece about protecting your new Bronco and Shane. Uh, tell us all about it. Yeah, these rockers are definitely important to cover with uh, paint protection film. It's probably just as important as covering the front end of your car, because um, these tires, like I said before, they're just gonna kick up all the stones and they're, they're gonna hit here first because it's the lowest, lowest part on the vehicle. And uh, even if people want to take this you know, off-roading, they're just going to get bush, bush marks all up up the side of their vehicle right. here. So, um, And a lot yeah, of people are going to take the running boards off and not even have them there. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people are going to put an offset rim on there. You can get your rocker guards. That would, that would help. 
um, but it's it's not going to go as high up with the paint protection film. How high up on the rocker package does it go? Um, the rocker package will come right up to this this body line here. If you're not doing the full door, you can do just the rockers, and you'll get to get this piece, which will curl curl in here yep. and come right up to the the front of the door. So that's a good option if you didn't want to do the full door. Um, but I would definitely recommend doing the full door. Obviously, you get the most protection out of that. Could you do the full door and then put the rocker piece over top of it and give you like double protection? Yeah, you could definitely do that if you wanted to. Yeah. Yep. That's uh, that's a great but idea. But the stones are just going to hammer the paint off of there, right? And that's just the oh, nature yeah. of the beast. Hundred uh, percent. Pretty easy to install. Very. Yep. Right. Just flat piece. So. Okay. Shouldn't well. Be too complicated. You show us how easy. Let's have a look at you installing. Awesome. Thanks, Shane. On the 2021 Bronco, one of the great features that we've all heard lots about is how the doors are quite easy to remove and the mirrors stay attached to the A-pillar. What I want to talk about, what I want to have Shane talk about here is uh, Bronco door skins and the importance of protecting this door. Is it is easy to remove, but you know, this is going to get scratched when people are taking this door on and off, right? Yep, 100%. It's just good to protect the side of the vehicle, especially with these big tires are going to kick up a bunch of stones yeah um, and like you said you can take these doors off and people are they're not always very careful when removing removing things right and it's easy to to bang up your door when you're trying to place it in the back of the, the vehicle so i think at the places where is the customer the owner going to take the door off well it's going to be in a garage with tight right. quarters it's going to be outdoors where they're doing their activities what kind of clothes are they going to be wearing outdoors? You know, they're going to be wearing things with zippers, belt buckles, jeans. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for the cost of doing the doors, like you said, uh, the mud terrain tires are going to spit stones up. If you have an offset wheel, if you don't have mud guards, if you don't have the right flare, all, all those conditions, even with those, they're still going to throw stones. That's the nature of these tires. For sure. But uh, in addition to the fact these doors are designed to come on and off, putting door skins on with 3M paint protection film I, I think it's just a great idea. Yeah, 100%. It's so a, it's a no-brainer. Uh, not a super difficult install, but it's a large piece. So yeah. uh, you know, and it's it's available in both two and four door. And there's going to be the cutout here for the the door handle. Yep, it'll tuck um, right into the door cups there too, so you get the door cups covered as well as the full door. Um, people go in there with their you know with their rings and nails they scratch in there so it's another perfect well let's see how easy it is to install shane you all show right. us all right check it out Right, the all new Bronco adventure vehicle, removable doors, off-road capable, and we're talking about protection using the 3M Pro Series paint protection film. And uh, I thought we were finished and you had one critical area that you wanted to suggest. So tell us what that is, Shane. Yeah, I think another good area to cover on this Bronco is the door sills right here. Um, it's a simple piece to do. It's pretty flat there and you know people getting in and out of their vehicles they're gonna scrape their boots right along there you always have a stone cut in the terrain of your of your shoe so uh, it's definitely a good spot to put some film and also since you can take these doors off so some people might drive down the road with the doors off you can get some stone chips happening right there yeah I never thought about the the stones being caught in the tread that happens all the time it gets caught in the tread of your hiking boots yeah so sure. if you're ever going to use your Bronco and walk in gravel with hiking boots, that, that's a really good place to do. Inexpensive, yeah. 
uh, relative for yeah. paint injection film yeah. and fairly easy to do, right? Yeah, for sure. All right, well, let's check it out and you show us how we do it. Sounds good. White is such a great color to demonstrate the 3M Pro Series paint protection film because it is so clear and the warranty is for 10 years that it won't yellow. But how about demonstrating the thickness and the protection? Factory paint, that is the primer, the color and the clear coat will give you a total thickness of around 5 microns. Jump over top of the film and look at how much difference we're getting. A huge difference and that extra 8 microns of protection is what protects your paint from stone chips.